All right, quick update on what I've got going on here with all this mess today. So basically I am replacing the expansion tank or overflow tank, uh, lower radiator hose, upper radiator hose, thermostat, and water pump. Um, now I've got a Motorcraft water pump, PW423. Uh, this is a longer, they call them lawn nose or lawn shaft water pump because I've got a 2000. Um, and I did confirm it, it, it's the exact same size as that guy there. So, Motorcraft water pump, uh, Moto Rad expansion tank, gates, hoses, and a stand radiator. So, um, I am waiting on a replacement, excuse me, upper uh, thermostat housing. That should be coming in, in tomorrow. Um, but that's what I got going on here. Uh, mainly doing this kind of as routine maintenance. Um, I did notice my coolant looks like, doesn't look great, looks like that. So that's what drained out from this guy. And this guy here was pretty nasty. Let's see if I can get the light on there. Yeah. So granted, I was not having that. Ugh. Uh, actually, just for reference, too, there's their coin. Now, granted, this bucket wasn't perfectly clean, but it wasn't full of dirt or mud or anything, so that's what that looks like. Um, now, the car was warming up great. Um, it ran perfect temp all through the summer, uh, and you, the Utah summers get 105, you know, up to, up to 105 and 90 degrees, all like 90 to 100 all summer long, so car ran great then. Um, AC worked great once I replaced all that, but that's a different story. Um, car's been warming up great in the winter, so I really wasn't having any issues, but I noticed the coolant was turning pretty gross and brown. So, um, with the curse of, you know, the uh, do it while you're in there, I thought, well, let's replace the coolant tank. I'm like, well, you know what? Upper and lower radiator hoses aren't that expensive. It's all going to be taken apart anyways. I'm like, well, you know what? Thermostat while I'm in there, and then I... Uh, I went down the rabbit hole and ended up buying a water pump. So, anyways, that's where I'm at. Um, I considered also just replacing the radiator, but I, I think I'm going to stop myself there. Um, if I was having overheating issues or warming up issues, I'd just say, oh, screw it, let's just do all of it. Um, but again, everything's been running fine. So, worst case, if I need to replace this down the road, all I'm looking at is the cost of, you know, the radiator, of course, but coolant and distilled water, which is cheap. So, um kind of fine taking that risk but currently trying to get this sucker out so factory water pump um, from barricade garages barricade garages video uh, he used the trick here of keeping the top bolt in um, just a couple a couple turns in so when the pump does come out it won't come shooting out into my radiator fan here so that should hold it in place but um, I've been working on taking a mallet, giving this a couple good wax. Um, I've tried a couple different positions with a pry bar, prying against here. So I'm going to get back at this in the morning, but that's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, and then, yeah, we'll get the, this is the factory ploy, but the new Motorcraft pump in there. New stand, just factory 190 degree thermostat. Figured it, it's a lot, you know. 190 degrees. I don't, I'm not racing or anything. Um, new expansion tank that'll actually be able to see the quality of my coolant, and then new hoses. So that's where I'm at with this project.